let's continue along the path of iterative composition with the morphogene. We briefly touched on the idea of achieving interesting rhythms by varying the relation between gene size and clock rate. Let's explore that a bit further. With morph at lower settings, the clock is used for gene shift. When the gene size is longer than the time between clocks, we won't hear the full gene before we move to the next one. As we reduce the gene size, we will hear the gene begin to repeat before the shift happens. See the previous video in this series for another example. Let's use pressure points to select several of these juxtapositions. the new splice we have created, which we could splice up further, modulate, etc. When recording into a new splice, we can use the organize control to add material from multiple existing splices to the new one. For example, here we have several different sounds on different splices. We can use the shift input to shift splices regularly. Remember this only happens at the end of the gene, so more quickly with smaller genes. We can modulate gene size occasionally with a variable curve function for a fill with different flavors. We could add clocking to this for a variation. Consider modulating other parameters too, like slide or vary speed. As with everything else we have shown in this series, anytime you like the result, you can record it into a new splice and use that as the basis for further material.